They all lacked that one thing that makes McDonald's special. There is no denying that McDonald's is the master of the fast food industry. For decades, those infamous golden arches have stretched themselves to every corner of the globe. Although their food has become a staple of modern life, McDonald's isn't afraid to take inspiration from local food and incorporate it onto their menus. While many McDonald's offer a variety of different choices, today we are focused on the continent of South America. Here is our list of 10 McDonald's foods you can only get in South America. America. Torta banana. You can have a nice pile of bananas, right? Just imagine finishing your last bite of a Big Mac or double cheeseburger, and you're still feeling a wee bit hungry, if that's possible. What you crave next is something sweet. Thankfully, the South American McDonald's has a treat for you with their torta banana. If you're familiar with the apple pie found in most McDonald's around the world, and you're a fan, then the torta banana is a similar sweet treat and is a must for you. Imagine biting into that warm, crusted dessert and instead of apples, you taste banana. The taste is a cross between a banana split and apple crumble. Whether you're partial to the crust or bananas, this one is sure to blow your mind. We bet you won't even make it home before you start to chow down on this dessert you've ordered. It may have you wishing you ordered more. We're not exactly sure why North America is yet to sell this banana dessert, or in fact why the rest of the world are yet to jump on board the banana boat. Oh, I see. Because I'm a monkey, I must love bananas, right? Maybe the South American Golden Arches want to keep this to themselves, or get us to visit more often. The Torta Banana might well be worth a plane ticket. If you ever do find yourself in that part of the world, buying three at a time is something to keep in mind. When it comes to bananas, you know they are good for your overall well-being, packed full of potassium, and will keep you feeling full for longer periods. So why not make yourself feel better and order it? you likely won't be disappointed. Empanadas con queso. You want to get some McDonald's? With a lot of fast food restaurants, there is an important question to be asked. Do you like cheese? If so, what about melted cheese? If the answer is yes to both, then we have something special for you. If you are not a big cheese fan, then this entry probably isn't going to be your cup of tea. But for everyone else, we give you the empanadas con queso. These delicious empanadas can be found in Chile and Venezuela. But to be honest, we really think these cheesy pockets of joy should be sold everywhere. Hot pockets! The empanadas con queso comes in threes, because all good things do. Best way to describe them for anyone unfamiliar with empanadas is, imagine your favorite pastry dessert, like an apple or blueberry turnover, or whatever your favorite fruit is. Now imagine cheese, instead of fruit, melted between two pieces of delicious pastry. The warm crunch of the pastry, mixed with the smell and taste of the melted cheese, is like a big hug for your insides. This cheese pocket is for the type that likes to get up early, drink black coffee, and ride their bike to work. You know where your priorities are. Stick to it and you'll reach your goals. We believe in you. McRap Palta I'll have four tax burgers. If you're a little more health conscious when you pop into your local McDonald's, nowadays they offer great alternatives to burgers and fries. Salads and wraps are particularly good choices. If wraps are your thing, and you happen to find yourself in Chile, then this one's for you. This McWrap is jam-packed full of all the goodness that you need. It's comparable to the McWrap you can find in any other McDonald's, except they add the ultimate ingredient. We're talking about the avocado. We're staying with the same menu, right? Avocado is a big thing for McDonald's in Chile. In fact, you can ask to add avocado to any item on the menu. If you ever take a trip to Chile, why not make that burger or salad taste a bit different by adding some avocado? It can feel like a whole different meal. Avocado aside, the McWrap Palta is a tortilla wrap packed with thinly sliced fried chicken, onions, tomatoes, mayonnaise, and of course, the avocado. Unfortunately for the rest of us lovers of McDonald's wraps, the McWrap Palta is only available in Chile. We're hoping that this item will one day grace our lands too. Arepas. Looks like somebody's been down here with the ugly stick. 
Imagine all of your favorite ingredients stuffed between two cornmeal patties. That's what you get with the arepas. They come in a few different kinds and fillings similar to a sandwich. Famous in Venezuela and Colombia as a staple meal, arepas have been recreated in a few different countries around the world with various adaptations. We can't blame these other places for trying, but none seem to have come close to the original South American favorite. Now, McDonald's have their own version flying off the grills. Arepas are stuffed full of cheese, meats, and veggies, which are then wrapped into a perfectly folded, buttered shell. It's then grilled to perfection and enjoyed down to the last bite. The customer is always right. These are a staple in homes in Venezuela and can be recreated to fit on any dining room table. McDonald's pulled a good move, introducing it on its menu to keep up with the cultural movement. You definitely want to indulge in this item if you are in the area to see why it has a definite place in every home. Venezuela is a spot you should definitely hit up as you check your bucket list items off. It offers so much culture and history, and the food that it serves will definitely be making you want to book your second trip pretty quick. Mick Criollo. Just like my dad used to make. Until McDonald's fired him. This next one is exclusively offered in Colombia. Sorry to the rest of the world, you'll just have to make a special trip to experience the Mick Criollo. The Mick Criollo is a breakfast dish, but it can be eaten for lunch or dinner if you're a late riser. The Mick Criollo includes eggs, a sausage patty, some sweet corn, hash browns, and arepas. If you are a breakfast person and love the idea of a McMuffin or two to satisfy your breakfast needs, what time? do they stop serving breakfast? It's three o'clock. Then wait till you see what the Mick Criollo has to offer. It will blow your mind. Having all that food laid out in front of you is truly a great way to start any day. The Mick Criollo is for the person who leads a busy life, who needs to have one really good hearty meal in order to function for the rest of the day and wants to enjoy it till the very last bite. Make your eyes wide, open your mouth, and take in every bite of the Mick Criollo the way it's intended to. Saltadita. No, no, no. Through this list, we have guided you across the glorious continent of South America to see what delights their McDonald's has to offer. For our next entry, we are off to Peru. This little number resembles a regular hamburger, but it's not your average Joe. Packed in between these two patties comprised of 100% beef is sautéed onions, tomatoes, and pork loin. It may sound a bit strange to have two types of meat thrown in there, but somehow Peru makes it appealing. Peru's food culture is heavy on lots of meat. Bon appetit. So, of course, McDonald's incorporates that aspect to its own menu to appease to the audience. Calling all carnivores, the saltadita is right up your alley and will definitely feel like you deserved every bite to the fullest extent. Every country tries to differentiate itself when it comes to food travel, and experiences. So it's good to see that the giants of the fast food world are doing everything they can to accommodate this. If you do ever find yourself in Peru and are looking to try the local food, then starting with a McDonald's saltadita is a good thing to sink your teeth into before you start to hike up Machu Picchu. Cheddar McMelt. Cheddar! For the next entry on our list, we are off to the tropical country of Brazil. Famous for its beaches, the Amazon rainforest, and of course, the statue of Christ the Redeemer, which towers over Rio de Janeiro and is considered one of the seven wonders of the world. This Portuguese-speaking nation is no stranger to standing out from the crowd. It's often the one at the front of the crowd, dancing and showing us the bright and fun side of life. After all, it is the home of the famous Carnival. I will eat this Toblerone and I will not pay. So we are not surprised to see that McDonald's has tried to cater to the fun-loving Brazilians. On the surface, the Cheddar McMelt looks a bit like a typical Big Mac. However, there is a twist. The Cheddar McMelt is stacked with two beef patties with plenty of melted cheese in between. Grilled onions and soy sauce finish off this mammoth burger. The inclusion of soy sauce may seem to be an odd choice to a McDonald's burger, and and may even put some people off, but we trust that the Brazilians know what they're doing, especially with all that melted cheese and meat goodness. McDonald's Mega Mac. The Big Mac. 
If there's one thing that McDonald's is truly world-renowned for, apart from the Golden Arches, Ronald McDonald, Apple Pies, actually, the list is long. Besides all of those things, a real winner and crowd-pleaser has always been the infamous Big Mac. Two grilled beef patties in a three-part sesame seed bun topped with fresh salad, pickles, and their famous special sauce. It truly is the perfect burger. So why, you might ask, would anyone change the Big Mac, and what could you do to it to make it better? The answer is the Mega Mac. The Mega Mac is in no way a replacement for the Big Mac. It's more like the Big Mac's older and tougher brother. Not everyone can handle such a monstrosity, but for those who can, they are in for a real meaty treat. I wanna eat! The Mega Mac is actually offered in several countries around the world, and each of them have a slightly different name for it. But in South America, it's the Mega Mac. Mac. While the Big Mac may be large enough for most, some like the challenge of a monster. The Mega Mac adds two more beef patties to its Big Mac burger, as well as more toppings and dressing. The Mega Mac is for the real McDonald's extremists and is not to be taken lightly. Magnifica. Magnifico. It's real and it's magnificent, stated McDonald's Argentina. Let's talk about this one. A grilled beef patty squished in between two sesame buns topped with lettuce, tomato, slivered onions, pickles, and creamy mayo sauce. Sounds like your average burger, but when you sink your teeth into it, all your dreams start to come true. The simplicity of the ingredients makes it a delicious choice for dinner time. The Magnifica is available pretty much all over South America. However, it's Argentina that really excels with this burger. Burger big and juicy. Famous for their meat, particularly their steak, Argentina takes great care and pride with every cut of meat, and McDonald's is no different. Sticking to the Argentine code of meat, each burger is packed with pure Angus beef, fresh tomatoes, onions, lettuce, and the big three condiments — ketchup, mayo, and mustard. Not only that, but each burger is cooked on charcoal, rather than being fried or grilled on a regular grill, which, believe it or not is a rare sight in the fast food market, and we welcome it, even more so when it tastes this good. Cono de Arequipe. If you put that ice cream in your mouth, you're gonna be in big trouble, young man. Ice cream is popular anytime, anywhere, and all over the world. Most of us enjoy it as an after-dinner snack, or on a hot summer afternoon when you just need something cold and sweet. Then there are those rare occasions where sometimes, and we mean sometimes, ice cream can be enjoyed for breakfast, so long as it's on the side of a plate of tasty waffles or pancakes. But how about just ice cream for breakfast? This is every kid's dream. Well, in South America, you can. They serve ice cream all day, every day, and it's not just your regular vanilla swirl. I used to scoop cones here, and why shouldn't he? We all have our favorite ice cream toppings, but in South America, it's dulce de leche. Dulce de leche is one of the sweetest treats you could experience at a fast food restaurant. It's very similar to caramel sauce, only a lot sweeter and thicker. While a lot of South America does serve this, it's mainly Argentina that serves the best and most widespread varieties. This sauce isn't just limited to ice cream. You can swirl it into sundaes, and it can even be added to drinks. However, it's on the classic ice cream cone that fans love Dulce de Leche the most, and it's available all day long. Taking a trip to a South American McDonald's doesn't just have to be about burgers and fries. With this sweet treat, everyone's sugar craving will be more than satisfied. It's fair to say that most McDonald's around the world try to put out a crowd-pleasing take on the local delicacies. We can't wait to visit South America to get our hands on these tasty treats. There's no travel required for more of our great videos. Just tap that screen. And if it's your first time here, how about showing us some love and strike that subscribe button and knock that bell to join our notification squad.